ba 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 What's up guys, we're 3, 2, 1 here with you, back to some more, Kirby's Return to Dream Land. In the last episode, we completed the first world, and now we're going to be moving on to the sword challenge. So if you guys are enjoying the series so far, I gotta remember every time when I end these episodes, I gotta do the safe state, so I can load up as many lives as I got last time. To see how good or how bad I am at the game. So we're starting off with 15 lives, I'm, let's do the sword challenge right now. Turn on the volume a little bit. But yeah, for these challenges, I'm actually going to be really quiet. So, um, yeah, they tell you like, how to guide and how to do some pro tips and stuff like that. But I'm going to be quiet during this challenge. So, um, but yeah, these are really short. Could have done it in the last episode, but yeah. Let's see what I got. Oh, I might have gotten it. I might have gotten it. Come on. Dang it. Ah. I'm guessing if I got 30, 30, 30,000 on there, I would have gotten that rank. Dang it. What did I get then? Come on. I'm dumb. <laughs> I got a gold. But um, I think... Because there, um, there are four ranks in this. There's bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. Platinum is a flawless run. You can't get hit. You can't mess up a single thing. I know plat platinum's in this game because I've actually gotten it once during my test playthrough of this game. So, anyways, let's move on to the second world, which is Raisin Ruins. All right. <laughs> Alright, wait, Razor Ruins, stage one. Level one, stage oh, level two, stage one. Anyways, we get Whip Kirby! I love this move. Dang it, I messed up. Bah. So, Whip Kirby is basically like uh, one of those like item grabbing moves. You can grab stuff with it. It's like. It's actually a pretty devastating attack, too. My favorite move is to do with this move is the one I showed earlier, which is that. It's an amazing move. It's kind of like melee slash grab type of move. Because if the, if the enemies you're fighting are not big like that, then you can actually do like some pretty good and amazing grab moves. And it's okay some more. You can grab that life through the Gordos with the whip. Cool ability. Ah, wow. Get some. I 
I mean, music is actually pretty nice here. Oh yeah, a little something I want to say. Does it even count if I even say anything good about the music? Because I'm, a, I'm like a fan of all types of music for some reason. I don't know why, it's like all music. Look, any music that gets me to sing along with it or just dance along with it, then yeah, it's my, it's my favorite. <laughs> Anyways, I that fuse. Get up here. And yeah. I'm just, I've just gotten very lucky with the games I play because they have very amazing music. Everybody knows how to get everybody groovy. I can roll through this area, but whatever. Let's just walk through this whole section. These stages are not that hard or anything. It's just... These stages are not that hard or anything, but it's just... A little bit slow paced than usual. And I, for I forgot what triggered this to be closed. Oh no, nothing. Okay. I thought there was like, some type of trigger that closes it or something. But anyways, we get that spark. I want that amazing protection right here. Poppins now. Wherever that character is, I just saw some people just. I just saw a lot of people just say that um, Parasol Kirby's basically Mary Poppins. I don't know who that is. I'm guessing it's that lady that that flies around with the umbrella or something. I don't know. But I'm keeping an umbrella for this fight. Wow, three new abilities this stage. We got whip, we got umbrella, and we get hammer. Well, after we defeat Bonkers. Parasol is basically like a combination type of move. It's a good blocking, it's a, one of those good blocking moves because the Parasol does actually does damage. And wow, wow, wow. Parasol actually does damage to foes when you're blocking. How did I miss that? It also has like a, a bit of range to it because Parasol can shoot water out of it and you're dead bonkers. More like a close range weapon and stuff. But we get hammered, the one I showed off in the first episode. But yeah, this will be the normal first appearance for anybody who didn't know the HAL room and stuff like that. Get hammered to break those blocks, now we got all the end spheres. And I think hammer is actually one of the strongest moves in the game. It's one of the strongest copy builders in the game. <laughs> okay, messed up. That's a two. Mm. I'm doing amazing. Have I ever died once? No, I don't think so. Okay, if my game can stop breaking. <laughs> and we got Ninja Dojo. The game I'm not going to be showing off, unfortunately. Because it requires the... Um, we, the was it center bar? But anyways, actually, 
gonna keep this real quick. And yeah, this thing. So, this is Sleep Kirby. So, I wanna show this off myself, but just five more minutes, please. Just let me sleep. If you must wake me, just shake me. He only has two moves. One is sleep, and the other one is early wake up, which is you gotta do by just spamming buttons. But yeah, and oh wow, my moves actually just got away from me. Did it fall in the water? Any items that fall in the water, any copy abilities that fall in the water is gone forever, so. And then we got another ability right here, which is one of my favorites as well, Water Kirby. I think Water Kirby has also showed up twice in the Kirby series. Or maybe three times. I don't remember. But yeah, this is I think this ability is also making a return to the um the newer Kirby game that's coming out in 2018. So excited for that. And I basically, as you guys can see right there, I surf the, I can surf upon water. I can do a this move. Which allows me to spray down my enemies. So get them a nice little rinse and bath. So the cool about water Kirby is that he, And underwater when you're um Kirby, it actually increases your range on your attack. So if like you was normal Kirby or or of a Kirby ability that can't be used underwater. You usually just shoot one bubble, but no, water Kirby can shoot out two bubbles and increase his range. And I think it just adds more damage too. But anyways, enough, enough worshiping water because we're going on to rock now. We're switching abilities just like that. So rock Kirby, this is more, this is more than just a basic Kirby ability. You usually just stone Kirby, usually just rock Kirby, it's just, um, just a one move thing, which has multiple um, forms upon its use. But this, uh, the, this version has a fist, it can do a little slide rock, and there's a water guy right behind me. And not only that, but it can grow in size. Just hold down when you jump, and there you go. Hold down and attack when you jump. And I'm a giant macho man. But there's only two I oh, sideways. But there's only two items that can break those stumps right there, which is hammer and a rock. Which is a ton of work. You get that joke if you notice that I can turn it into eight tons. And it's invincible. Yeah, normal attack, one bubble, shorter range. Got Kirby's little goggles and his floaty on there. Nice. I don't think I want Needle Kirby for this. Do I need water for this? Yeah, I do. Water's more recommended in this stage. How did I miss that? But, um, uh, can I do that again or no? I can. I can get another shot. You can't abuse the um, door thing because once you go back into a door after collecting the collectible, you can't get it again. So, no use in trying to cheat the game. Let me get up here. I can't get up there. Ride the wave. Ride the wave. Go all the way over here to these two guys right here to unlock an area. Tap it. Oh. Try the top one first. And then go for a bottom if you want a challenge. What challenge, though? <laughs> and we get another super ability in this stage. Wow. I just remembered, too. You get new abilities, and they're short-lived. Huh. 
Kaboom! Hold up. Bah! Water bomb. There's also like multiple moves with this ability. If you hold down and up, there we go. Just wanted to show those moves off because I keep forgetting about those. Anyways, a little something special right there. I don't need my water for this anymore. Because there is a new super ability. So we get Flare Beam. Oh, yeah. There we go. So, Flare Beam is like one of those slippery type of range moves out here. If you press your jump button, you can cancel the um, move. Which is nice to know. But yeah, there's going to be lots of puzzles later on in the game that requires this. But all you just need to do with Flare Beam is just break these, um... Just break some things around here and you should be good. Yeah, just make sure you know how to. Just make sure you remember how you can cancel the ability because it takes a while to actually um, run out. But these abilities never go stay stay out too long. They're so short lived. Oh yeah, Kirby is invincible when he does the moves. Thought I had to mention that. A lot of people have already know that. <laughs> Alright, let's go. More of this, and we're swimming now. Oh yeah, those are the, those are the really funny. Fat Kirby when he swims. Look at him go, man. <laughs> oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Shoot it back. It's just really hard to handle. You can't float with um stuffed up Kirby. Crap. crap. I think that was a little slow in the water too. Do I need any of that? No, I don't, because it's already closing in. Oh, wow. Didn't even realize that it was actually going to hit it back. Um, let's go with... With Kirby. No, Parasol. We didn't have enough Parasol last time. Which is nice, because when you're Parasol, you can attack them underwater, too. I Okay, that's gonna get hit there. I thought it was far away. I can just walk under him and I'll be fine. Circus act! Oh I killed him with his old projectile. That was actually pretty cool. I was in the circus, and then I killed you with my own balls. I'm weird. Well, let's take m me and my trusty umbrella and let's go. I keep forgetting to keep checking my time. And I got that one. Whenever it flashes pink like that, that's how you know you got yourself that number one status. -na 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 -na. I just stole something. I just stole that from somebody. <laughs> But, we get the copy ability room. Hell, I'll do that. But anyways, in this stage, 
we get one of the most overpowered abilities. Just pick you up. Let's go. Let's go, go, let's go, go. I love the sound jack in this game, man. It's so happy. Okay. The trick for this one is to follow the stars. They give you the good stuff. On the left. Yeah, like. Be careful when we climb up a lot when we climb up a ladder like that. Dang it. I just want that life. You got something you got a reference off of Mario. The mummies that act like ghosts in um, Mario. <laughs> Apparently, you're not invincible when you block with um with the parasol either. But anyways, we get tornado Kirby. Yes. Go, my friend. And goodbye, my friend. There it is again. That. And Parasol. A lot of people in, in um, the Kirby universe like um, complain that Parasol is actually a really hard to control move. It's not. All you just, all you just need to know is that um, if you hold the button down, you're, you're going to continue to go up. If you like hold the button, you're going to go down. There's like a new move set with the ability too, so you can do like a sideways tornado, you can do an upward tornado, and a downward tornado. It's not really hard to control either. But anyways, we get high jump. It's only Superman Kirby. I thought I heard something. Anyway, so we go up here to get that. They do give you a chance to go back down, so if you fail that part, then don't worry. We can hold the the um high jump ability too to um do like more damage the more your jump is and um i'm gonna stay with high jump it's gonna be a challenge just drop this right here it's a high jump now we can go up but you can also go down too huh. boom and boom I don't even I didn't even need the maximum tomato eat anyways, wow. Can I take it with me though? No. <laughs> oh snap. Don't scare me like that. There we go. <laughs> Oh wow. Oh my eye hurts. And we get a bit of the Donkey Kong section right here. Go over to the right side right here to get the last gear. And we are done. Over to the left, we get a little surprise visit. I'm going to do whip. Because I'm pretty sure. Yes. I can take the ability with me. It would have been nice if I actually was able to keep the ability with me for a longer. And someone that flashes pink, man. Even when you barely miss it. Well, pink if you barely got it, and magenta if you got it. Just forget purple. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Let's move on to stage four. I don't know if the camera's centered or not. 
Alright, so we got some Scarfies over here that are really aggro since I got this key. Don't let them touch you or they're going to explode! No, 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 just throw it, just throw it! Get in there! Alright, now we get some bomb, Kirby! You ain't going to control me anymore, Scarfies! Off with your heads! Even though your heads are already off. <laughs> Anyways, bomb Kirby. Projectile, projectile. You can aim with your bomb and stuff like that. Why did it stop aiming for a second? Just don't keep your just don't keep your bomb in hand for too long, or it will or it will just blow up in your hand like that. Or will it blow up? Oh yes, it will. Yes, it will. And you don't take damage from it. Well, if you do, you take like like point one damage or something like that. But it's not really much. Not really much to do any real damage. All right, let me stop playing around. And when you're near enemy, when you put some bomb, you can actually go down on them. Okay. Huh. Dang it! I wanted to be cool. Ah! Dang it! I'm trying to be cool with my bomb placement. Like, roll around, place a bomb down when I jump, stuff like that. Uh. Anyways, you see bomb placement right here. Run down. And. Uh! Okay, I thought I was going to make it there. Go! Oh! Ah. Down right here. Alright, there we go. Let's go. Jump. Run. Jump. Roll. Jump. Alright, we got a little candle section right here. You can also have like, a fire ability to stop, to, um, make you see better in this area. But, there would be no point in the candle physics, would there be? Yeah, like, there's like no point of actually having a candle here anyways. I guess it makes it more like scener scenery st stuff. I don't know. I'm having trouble talking again. It's very cold outside. <laughs> there's a bomb right on top of them. There's something, there's something bad with that. Anyways, um, I'm gonna stick with bombs. I can just do this. Bomb is super effective against a water ability. I mean, a water type. Oh, okay. Bomb. 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 Woo! And there we go. Get some water. I don't know why you need water for this section, but whatever. Let's use your water gush. Get those guys down there, and we get the water. But yeah, if you do lose your water ability, there's another one right here. Really brings out the really like um, lowers the difficulty of the area, but whatever. Because you need water for this part right here. I don't know if you can move at the same speed with the water ability here, but. No, actually, because you can use. No, wait. Never mind. Actually, I think I was wrong from before. I don't think you really need the water ability because there's nothing from stopping. There's nothing stopping you, and I think your run speed is the, is the same with the water ability. So, like, what? What's the point of having the water with you? I don't know, but I like water curb anyways. Better than those other abilities. Abil abilities. Wow, my grammar is so bad. There is a sword right here. And we're cutting down things again. Whoa! And... Let's go. I'll just sword again! Let's go. 
I'm Why? I just pressed the button. Now you're all getting it. I swear, man, my button doesn't res my um control doesn't respond as fast as I want it to. And get dead. Now the wall's coming from the right side. This is usually when you um want to start shooting back the wall. Because there's, there's nothing else you can use the items for. So if you want to shoot the wall back, be my guest. I probably should have sucked up um, a lot more. But whatever. Back up. There is a way to like quickly dive in these areas, like when you jump just I forgot what you're supposed to do, but you can just dive. Let's be cutter. Oh, and be careful because the floor can break in this area. Ah, what the heck man? I let go of the button. Ah, uh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. I'm just afraid that I'm gonna do a final cutter into the, um, pit. You just get this in the stage all the time. Okay, how the heck did I keep missing him? Ha! I thought that was gonna be the last hit. So I'd be cool and do... Okay, and... Boom! What? What? I thought I can just do that to him. I just make it look like I whacked him with it. Bah! It would have been so cool if I if it actually worked. I feel like I'm going. I think I'm going to record two of these videos today. This one and the other one. I think I barely made it. No. So, correction, it flashes magenta when you make it to one, but I think it just flashes pink no matter how many times, no matter what you press with it. But here comes the boss. What do you want to do to him, boss? It is space complete, and a whip challenge to do. Anyways, let's do the boss. So. What I'm thinking is fit for the boss fight is that we don't use whip, that we don't use hydro, but we use water. No, no, we do use. I want to use whip for this one because I think this boss is the is um the one that throws a lot of projectiles. It's the um magician guy, right? Yep. Say hello to Mr. Duder. So, use your whip, grab an item away from him, and. Oh! This is actually a really good ability to use for this boss because it does so many hits per damage. And a lot of projectiles to be used in this one. 
Ah, dang it, he broke it. Bop, bop. And there we go. Super size! Okay. Bah, bah. Okay, there we go. Just be careful not to get grabbed by him. Ha! And there we go. We're done here. But down, but down. And nothing else left to do except for the dance. You did it, Kirby! My star cutter has his right wing back in place. Once you find all the parts and this baby can fly again, I'll take you on a trip to visit my home world. I come from a distant land. It lies at the end of an interdimensional tunnel connected to your planet. It's really far away, but the lore is a beast. It can get us there in no time. I hope you'll take me up on my generous offer. But that should be it for this episode of Kirby's Return to Dreamland. In the next episode, we're going to take on the Whip Challenge. Some of that whip on, but we're going to take the whip challenge and we're going to go to the next world to get the um, left wing. I don't remember, but hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the new channel as well as the notification button down below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, my gamers. <laughs>